everyone, welcome back. So it's almost that time of year again. Halloween is almost here. And this year for my Halloween makeup tutorial, I decided to go in with Disney character Minnie Mouse. I think this is fun for any which way you can turn. Whether you are a mom and you're gonna go trick or treating with your kids, or you wanna get dressed up for Halloween for a Halloween party. And I just figured this would be the perfect, um, kind of like glamorous, way to look sexy, cute, and just have fun on Halloween. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's just get right into it. First things first, I'm going to use the Bye Bye Pores Primer. One pump is all you need to keep everything in place. I'm gonna use the a Cosmetic CC Cream as my foundation. And I'm taking the Heavenly Luxe brush as well. I'm going to take the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Light. With this concealer, don't be afraid to add. It's okay to actually add a little bit more because you want it to brighten the eye area and the under eye area as well. I'm going to take the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder and I'm going to set my entire face. This is the Heavenly Luxe Live Beautifully brush. You're going to want to actually pack it on to the skin so this way you have this matte finish. Now you can get a little crazy with the shape on your brows for this, so don't be afraid to like paint them on. I'm gonna go on with Anastasia's dip brows for this look. So I'm going to start with chocolate. Just, just start to create this sharp look. So you see how I'm creating that first? And I'm gonna bring it up. What I'm going to do next is take this Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. This is in the shade In The Nude and I'm just going to perfect it underneath here just to sharpen it up a little bit. You don't have to do all the steps that I'm doing. Remember, the beauty of makeup is to improvise. So whatever works for you, just go ahead and do that. If you have like a contour book, like this is the one I have from It Cosmetics, you can actually take one of these shades right here and use it as your shade that you're going to put in your crease. So for this, you know what? I think I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics contour color right here. So if you have any contour colors or any uh, deep browns, reddish browns, light browns, you could use any of those colors. I'm just gonna go in with my E40 brush from Sigma and I'm gonna bring it right into the crease right here. Start with the E20 short shader and what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that deeper shade right here and I just want to go into the crease a little bit just to create a little bit of dimension. Now my eyes already have that round shape but if you don't you're going to create it with the darker shade. You go in with the E25 and you're just going to blend it gently. Taking the shade, this shade from Makeup Geek called Pegasus and I'm going to apply it with an E55 to my lid. I'm gonna take a liquid eyeliner. This is from NYX. So I'm gonna put lashes on. Now for this look, I want something really, really full and doll-like. And I took out the new Bunsum. I hope I'm pronouncing these the right way. But these are called the Dragon Lashes. Um, they are mink lashes that are just extremely, extremely fluttery and it's gonna be perfect for this type of look. So I'm gonna get these on now. So you see the difference on the lashes? So now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna let the glue dry a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with the My Sculpted Face Palette. I'm gonna take this highlight shade right here. And I'm gonna go in with an E40 brush and I'm gonna bring it to the top here. 
If you wanna add just a little bit more hint of glamour to this look, I am going to take a short shader brush and this other shade from Makeup Geek. This is called Whimsical. I'm just going to take this lighter shade here and a light brown eyeshadow will do for this and I'm just gonna go in with a straight short shader brush and just bring it underneath also going to take Anastasia's waterproof cream color in the shade Azure um, and I'm gonna bring this with a short shader brush to the bottom of my lash line then I'm going to go back in with Pegasus and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line with a flat shader brush. I'm going to take this Sigma Black Liner. This is in the shade Eclipse and I'm going to go right into the lash line on my lower lash line just to define it. And you can make a little connection with the liner as well to the outer corners. I'm also gonna go back in with that whimsical shade from Makeup Geek. Now when you put the, the blush on, you're gonna want it to be like rosy right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take any contour, I'm going back in with the Cosmetic Sculpted Face Palette and any colors that you have that are deeper. So you see how you're developing this? And this is a little bit more flat. So I'm going to take a pink blush. This is Well Dressed from MAC. Then I'm going to take Desert Rose. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm going to draw a little circle on my nose. You're going to want to leave a little spot open. I'll show you guys how I do it. You can leave it like that with that little spot. You could do a couple different things. So I'm going to take the nude eyeliner and just You could go like that. You can add gold. To take just a little bit more of the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I'm going to want to just blend it over my lips. And what I'm going to put over it is I'm going to draw on the lips. Now, when you do the lips for this, you want them a little animated. So I'm going to draw like half a heart and then round it out here. To make everything stay in place really well, I'm gonna go over it with the powder. Taking Cherry from MAC, any red lip liner will do. I'm gonna go in with this one from Kat Von D. This is the Project Chimps Red. Go back in with that gold or any white, white liner, uh, pink liner, however you want to do it for that cartoonish shade. Make it a little bit more glamorous. And you could go back in with Whimsical. And pop it right on top.
you can just add if you want you can even add like cute little lines right here to make it just a little bit more but I kind of like the way it looks just like this 